Good morning. I've gotten to a point where it's um, I start need to start making a list of the things that I have yet to do on the list and then prioritize them. So to do on this loon, which is to be delivered on Thursday of this week, um, I'm just going to write the list down and then I will prioritize them. So. I have yet to do the um, outer edging. Well, feathers. I have a uh, quills. I want to do some shading on the primaries. Some more feathering on the head. And a um, third pass of whites. Paint the bill. And um, tail feathers. and sign and seal at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> take a look at the bottom here. Yesterday I took it out to the garage and um, the autofocus on these. Um, got it nice and sanded down smooth so today I think what I'm going to do is it is one of my um, things to do on my list uh, as I'm going to wood burn the signature and, and the date today get that done. I'm replacing my paper towel. So I thought that I would um, give you a demonstration on how I uh, sign my bills. I'm just noticing a little chunk of paint. There. On the bill. It takes care of that. So, I decide which way I want this bird to be held so that I can make a decision on uh, which way to sign it on the bottom. And I found that using a ruler as a guide, I know where my center line is.
then I do everything really lightly with this pencil. I don't want to make any dents um, in the pencil either. So, let's see if I can get close enough. should be able to see what I'm doing. Setting my points of focus. So what do I want to say on my the bottom of my bird? Generally speaking, I say common moon and then I would say It's been a long time I've carved on this thing. I think I'm just going to common moon Laurie J McNeil Maybe I'll do See and that's why I'm using a pencil. <laughs> That's why I'm planning it out before I just dive into to wood burning. It's permanent. Uh, unless you want to go and have to re-sand everything down again. And I don't want to have to do that. So I'm going to say um, common loon. I'm going to say September 2021 and I'll sign my name and my insignia I think that'll do it so now I know I need my three lines so I will using my center line which I'm going to adjust just a little bit. And that seems to be more accurate. So not that I'm going to sign anything on that line, I just want every line that I do sign to be there. So I've got Common Moon, September 2021. I'm using the lines of this transparent ruler. Or the width between the lines. 
So I'm going to, and it's funny because I never really stick to what I've written, but I mean exactly the way that I've used the pencil because the wood burning pen is actually larger than my pencil is the ball tip so I'm going to say and I leave a little bit of extra space in between each letter to compensate for that common moon September 2021 Glory J. McNeil and my insignia. So that's the plan with the pencil. It's not easy to see. We can get it to focus that. So here. Oops, watch that go. And then here. So I happen to have my wood burner handy. ball tip the last time I used it it was on something that had already been sealed so it has a little bit of residue on it and uh, I use a sample block of Tupelo to test the temperature of my tool. Give it a couple seconds to heat up. I have it on seven currently. One minutes, not even minutes, but seconds. Let's see how we got going here. Okay. Okay. Here That's end grain, and I'm not. I don't get it hot enough. It won't flow. If you move too fast, or if you stop, So I think we're going to have to turn it up just a titch and move it up to 8. And if you have a, a block like this, you can just get the temperature to the point where your pen flows across the wood. And you don't ever want to have to come back and sand it. You don't want to go over it twice. If you can help it, sometimes you have to. Um, but if you work at the right temperature and at the right speed, you can get a, a good sign. It's almost 
sure that. Okay, I'm liking that better. So, <sighs> always a deep breath. I'm barely touching it when I'm going back the second time because I don't want to leave divots from the point. But I do want to darken it a little bit. It looks pretty good. I stuck to my line. Let's go for September now. It's hot on your finger. I'm pretty happy with that. And if you don't move fast enough, you get a scorch. So keep that in mind. You don't want to have to come back and sand this. Oh, keep whacking that bit off. All right. Now oh, for my name. If you do have to pick up again. Better to do it at an intersection. Sometimes the grain wants to take control.
looks pretty good. What happens is if you go back and burn over it like a second time as hard as you did the first time instead of like lightly taking care of any anomalies like I'm doing um, you end up wanting to sand it and then you sand off some of the color and then you end up going back with the pen to darken it again and it just becomes a vicious circle so if you can do it in one shot like you're seeing me do it here it'll be much better for you okay so last thing lay it down. I'm creating this groove that I'll be able to follow. And darken up. So that's what I'm going to do now. Make sure everything's even. I've been using this insignia since I was in high school. on all my artwork. Sometimes it's the only thing you'll see. You won't see my name because there wasn't an appropriate place to sign my name. But if you find this insignia somewhere on the bird, hidden under the tail, or in another place, you'll know it's mine. Straighten some of these out. Should do it. Now, the other thing that's important to do. is to erase the pencil lines so that uh, they don't get sealed because you know I never really do it exactly correct to my pencil marking it's very close but you know don't want to go back and leave the pencil lines that guided me. <sighs> Be sure your pencil eraser is big enough so that you're not scratching it with the metal ferrule of the holding the eraser onto the pencil that can be something that happens
one of the people who signs signed his work his keels he did remarks tan Bernay. it was <laughs> awesome to see what he would do with the wood burner on the bottom of his birds oh <clears throat> there we have it I'm pretty pleased with that so and why did I do that now well I'm getting pretty close to being done even though this list seems to be a little daunting but if I I'm already able to say I've signed the bottom, so I'm going to cross that off. I still have to seal the bottom, and I'll do that after I'm done painting. There may be a little bit of sanding that has to be done around the very outer edge of the bottom, but um, you know, that's not a lot. So, um, I'm going to continue on now and finish edging all these fe feathers uh, on the back. And then I'm going to um, straighten out and edge all of the little spots so that they will pop. And so let's say we we'll do this first. Um, that's the outer edging of the feathers, and I want to do the um, shading of the primaries after that. I will add the quills after that. It'll be third. Um, I want to finish feathering out the head fourth. Probably paint the bill fifth. Paint the tail feathers, upper and lower. And then the last thing I'll be doing is the um, third pass of whites everywhere to give us a nice white, solid look to the whites. So that'll be number seven. And then I'll seal the bottom will be number eight. So that's pretty good.